Hey guys, this is Maker of Beauty, and I just wanted to make a quick tutorial to show you where you can go get free SVG files, how to download them, and how to pull them into Design Space. So my go-to is often designbundles.net, and I will post all of the links for you guys. So um, once you come to the site, uh, you definitely can check out the bundles that they have and the deals, and they do often have really great deals, but for the purpose of this video and just because free stuff is amazing let's go to the free designs some of the designs remain free at all times and some of the designs you know they pop them out like once a week so definitely make sure that you are checking them out um, on a regular basis so i like coffee i am mommy so i'm gonna go for this one so i come down to the um page and um, you do need to be registered with them in order to download any of the items now if you've never used them before then you would be registering an account i already have an account with them so i'm just going to do login into an account and once i get to here just put it in my information if it's okay with you i will not reveal my password all right so slowly coming down uh, down the page and we're clicking on the download free now uh, it always gives all those different pop-ups you know you can just ignore them i simply click it off and i see that my design has started to download i'm going to quickly go back out and i want to grab a couple more free designs um, so let's click back on a free design link and um, the shooting star mandala looks lovely I'm going to grab this because why not? Again, click on the download free now. You don't get a pop up to be logging into the uh, into the site because it remembers that you already logged in. And let's just grab one other file. So let's see what's looking good to me. Um, you know what? My husband's birthday is coming up. So let's do the and we have two girls, so this is great so i'm gonna get this one as well okay now depends on how you set up your laptop right um if you haven't changed anything on your laptop all of your download files will go to a system folder called download if you're somebody who's savvy with technology and you designated a different file for your download you know then that's where you go to take a look at you can also always just right click on your download and you can go to show in folder and when you're here i'm actually going to bring the folder a little bit down so you can see it in the video um, you can always see the past right to see where the download have went and like i said i don't change my settings so it just goes into the system designated file for downloads so i'm going to close this and i'm actually going to show you how i, I open it So here's my folders and here's my download stuff. And um, as you can see, everything had arrived with a zipper um, in a zipped file, right? The, what the zip file does is um, it compresses the files within. Say, for example, you have five large pictures to email to someone or upload it somewhere. Uh, the if you do not compress them then the size gets to be humongous and not all mail servers you know allow you to send large attachments there could be limitations on how much space you just have in general so as a general rule of thumb you know zipping stuff is really good but that said in order to be able to see the actual files right inside there and use them besides just you know the viewing you need to unzip them and um, if you're downloading a lot of a stuff right you have a no choice of either unzipping everything one by one or a zip un unzipping all of them at once if you have a special app for that so first i'm going to show you how you unzip stuff if you do it on individual you right click and you click on extract all and uh, you know here you can again designate a different folder to extract it to or you can just accept the default and it will extract in exactly the same folder where the zipped file is sitting at so now i have 
the same folder, same name, no zip on it. That tells me that it had been unzipped. So this is how you unzip it when it's a single, when you do it on an individual basis, which is very cumbersome and it takes time. Instead, I recommend downloading a wonderful free app called Unzip, I think it's called, yeah, Unzipper File Manager. It is absolutely wonderful. So I'm going to open it up and uh, uh, because it's already set to my download um, right off the bat, right, it's been automatically updated and it's showing me every single zipped and unzipped file and everything that I have in my download folder. So if I want to unzip all of it at once, all I do is uh, multi-select. And the way you multi-select is you press the shift key, uh, shift button on your keyboard and you just click one by one. Now I'm gonna, um, hold on, let me multi-select, right? And you can see that it's multi-select because I have several files that are highlighted in a blue color. And I'm gonna click on extract. And it's telling me that it's, you know, going to put it right back to my download folder, which is absolutely perfectly fine with me. I like to work off the single folder. So I'm going to click on OK. And ta-da! It unzipped everything at once. And this, is, guys, is great because, you know, say like you got a very good sale and you got a bundle deal. The bundle deal could easily come with like over 200 SVG zipped files all at once, right? So um, instead of having to sit and unzip them one by one, you kind of do it one shot, do them all. Okay, so now we're in our download folder. And at this point, you need to figure out how you plan to organize your files if you're going to be doing a lot of cutting. Uh, you know, do you want to keep your zipped files or do you want to get rid of your zip files and actually only keep the SVGs? Uh, you know, there is no right or wrong answer. It's whatever works for you and whatever will help you to stay focused. Um, what I do, what has worked for me is this. So I'm going to drop to my, I have a Google Drive because that's, I prefer to store all my files. And so then I have a whole bunch of folders. So let's go to graphics, right? What I do is I have a main folder called graphics and then I bring all of my unzipped files into it. The reason I want to keep them in um, not just the SVG file itself, but the actual is folder is because it's a little bit easier to read through to see what I have. But again, it whatever works for you. So while I have quite a bit of a you know large amount of the subfolders, if I go, um, let's see to this one, right, the SVG print and cut. Again, I have a whole bunch of embedded folders inside there. But then on the top of it, right, I have the SVG singular files on themselves as well. So, um, you know, I want to tell you that quite a bit of this had come from, uh, uh, you know, chasing after like good deals where the bundles come out and you can get like thousand files for five bucks. Well, maybe not five dollars, you know, but definitely twenty dollar, which is a very good deal. And then also just going through the various uh, website that offer free SVGs. You know, some of them will have free SVGs on a regular basis. Some of them will have free SVGs as a, you know, like a weekly deal. I have captured a lot of that information in the group, so make sure you check it out. Okay, let's go back to the download. I want to show you um, let's go back to our unzips file, right? So because I don't keep the zip files, I don't really need it. I'm just going to highlight all of it and get rid of it. So now that we're in here, right, when we go in, um, you will see that there are several different folders, right? And this is what I do, but again, you know, that works for me. You need to figure out how, um, what, what it is that, that um, it makes sense for you to keep, right? So all of these different files and in different formats, because you can pull them in in a different uh, applications like, you know, this one is uh, your PNG, then the same, you know, the same with the uh, uh, JPEG, and uh, I think this one is 
you can open up this two file extensions or Photoshop. I mean, there is a lot. And uh, every single one of those files, right, has a size attached to it. And that, you know, I mean, if you have one file and it's only, uh, I don't know, even like, you know, one gigabyte, it's not so bad. But if, if over time, you're going to end up with more and more and more and more stuff. So you need to think about the strain it's putting on your hard drive. And the strain it might be putting on your cloud solution because I have space on both. I have it on my on my hard drive that's part of my laptop. And I also have quite a bit of a space on my Google Drive. And I can tell you all those graphics eaten that space like there is no tomorrow. So because of that, I tend to keep only SVG file only. I also tend not to worry about the uh, Design Bundle Premium License. And the reason to that is I don't really sell stuff to anyone. I just make it for my family and for my friends. And because I don't um, sell anything, I don't really need a premium license to cover me. If you, however, somebody who is going to be selling things, right, then it behooves you to keep license with you to make sure there is ever any questions as to why you're selling it. And, you know, do you have a license to sell? Then you can show that, yes, indeed, you know, you have a license and you need to open it and read through that um, the fine details. So this is what I do. I grab the SVG file and I'm just going to say cut and I'm going to come to the very first sub uh, folder and I'm going to paste it in here. So once I do this, I get rid of the, both of this because I no longer need them. And now I have my SVG only and it's living in the subfolder, which I'm going to now move and drop it in my SVG print and cut. Okay, and this one is the uh, design bundles on cork and wine. Okay, I just want to remember the name so that um, later on when I look for my file in design space, I know what I'm looking for. Um, you also have an option of if you're not interested in keeping the folders, right, and you only want to keep just the SVG files themselves, then what you can do is, is just come down to your search download folder, and you definitely want to stay in your download folder, right, because that's where you have your folders in. And you can type in dot SVG. What that does, it forces um, the folder to search only for those files that finish up with a dot SVG. And uh, because I've had downloaded previously like other stuff in, right, it's giving me all of the SVG files that had come through the um, that uh, they can be located in a download folder. So, you know, um, depends on what you need. You grab one of them or you grab two of them. So I only need this one and I also want this one. So I'm going to multi-select them. Uh, hold on. Let me put the check in here. And I'm going to right click and I'm going to say cut. And I'm going to, again, put it back into my SVG plus print and cut because that's where I keep my stuff. Okay, so this is gone now. And uh, I'm going to get rid of this. I've extracted everything that I needed to extract. So I'm just going to get rid of these two folders to save space on my laptop. Next up is going to be the design space application. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up. It's recently been updated, so hopefully it'll open up pretty quickly. And uh, one of the reasons why you do not want to have so many files and just in general, you know, put like a huge um, stress on your laptop is that it will affect the performance of other applications. And just in general, it will affect the performance. So I'm going to click on a new project. And then I'm going to click on Upload, and I'm going to come in here and browse it. And I know that I've dropped everything into my Google Drive, 
and it was i mean i know where everything is at right guys because because this is my files and so i'm going to put in a svg and now that i'm in here i can start looking for the file right so inside the file i'm gonna type it in coffee that's probably going to give me a little bit too many of them so i'm going to try to there we go um, so once you're in here, right, if you know the exact file name, you just definitely go for that file. If you, um, you know, if you accumulate like a whole bunch of them at, at once and you're starting to get lost as to where the file might be at, one of the things you can do is again, you know, come in, come to the folder that you want to search and you do .svg and it's just going to show you every single SVG file that you might have in there. Um, there's the uh, file that we had downloaded. It tends to show the most uh, recent first, which is quite handy. I mean, whichever way, you know, you guys can get to your file is, you know, that's what's going to work for you. All right, so we're going to double click on the, um, uh, this file. Unfortunately, Design Space does not allow you to pull in multiple images at the multiple files at once. Like even though I'm trying to do, you know, uh, press down, shift and click on coffee makes mommy nicer in a hope that I'll pull in both of them. It's not letting me. So I'm going to click on a dad daughter. I'm going to save it. And there I have it. I had pulled it in and now it's available for me to pull in any as a uh, project. And uh, you just proceed to do that until you uh, pulled in all of the files that you need to uh, pull in. So I'm going to grab this one next. And then once you have your files in uh, design space, it no longer matters whether you're using, it no longer matters whether you're using a phone, if you're using the iPad and so on and so forth. Now the demonstration that I did is specifically for the laptop users. Uh, yet you would be following very much similar steps and either you on an iPad or an iPhone. What you would have to do is you would have to go out to the application store and you would need to find an um, an app that allows you to unzip files. And uh, once you have that installed, whenever you have zip files, you should be able to drill down to the content within the folder. I would still encourage you not to keep the main folders or like everything that is inside there, unless you have an you know, enormous amount of space on your devices. Because if you're going to be getting um, a lot of freebies, you know, chasing after them or everywhere, which is, you know, it's good. I mean, like, look at my own folder. It's, it's just got tons and tons and tons of stuff in there, right? The, um, it will, you will quickly start running out of the space. I'm just going to show you guys, you know, as you can see, you know, they're big on the design bundles. So I hope you guys find that very helpful. Welcome to the group. You know, I appreciate any questions, feedback, and uh, have fun crafting. Take care.